Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. What happened to Michael and Tarek Salahi after their infamous crash at the White House during The Real Housewives of D.C.? Well, let's unpack the scandal that not only made headlines, but ultimately sealed the fate of the show. Peacock has recently brought back the original Real Housewives of DC series for streaming more than a decade after its cancellation in 2010, making it the first Housewives franchise to be axed without a second season. The dramatic events surrounding Michael and Tarek crashing President Obama's first state dinner in 2009 were pivotal to this decision. Despite not being on the guest list, the Salahis managed to sneak into the prestigious event with a Bravo film crew in tow. They mixed with the attendees and even had the audacity to meet the president himself. Following their uninvited intrusion, the couple became entangled in a high-profile investigation by the Secret Service, raising serious questions about security protocols in the nation's capital. In December 2009, the Homeland Security Committee attempted to bring the couple in for questioning, but they notably declined. Instead, they took to the media, appearing on the Today Show, and eventually facing a subpoena. Interestingly, the investigation revealed that their media inquiries to gain official invitations to the dinner fell flat, and they never provided any proof of an invite. Fast forward to the premiere of Rodeusi in August 2010, just after the White House incident. Andy Cohen, Bravo's head on show, confirmed that the show was ultimately canned due to FBI interest in the Salahis. In an eye-opening revelation, he mentioned, when the FBI is asking for raw tapes of your show, it's a sign it's not moving forward. Come on. This whole situation did not go unnoticed by the other cast members. Mary Schmidt Ammons reflected on the authenticity of their show, stating that despite the chaos caused by the Salahis, it still painted a vivid picture of life in DCI. But what about the future for Michael and Tarek? Following their reality TV stardom, they face personal turmoil. Shortly after their breach into the political elite, the couple went through a bitter divorce. Tarek cited abandonment and adultery as reasons, famously filing a missing persons report on Michael, only to discover she was in a relationship with rock musician Neil Sean. Tarek's legal battles with both Michael and Neil raged on for years, with Tarek seeking compensation for lost career opportunities that he claimed resulted from their actions. By 2012, the dust settled, but not before their saga revealed more about the tumultuous life of reality stars. As the Road Sea cast returns to the spotlight on Peacock, we're left wondering, what is the lasting impact of their notoriety? Though the show was short-lived, the Salahi story is emblematic of the wild roller coaster that comes with the territory of reality television. So, what do you think about Michael and Tariq Yu's journey after their White House crash? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Tube Talk for more riveting stories from the world of reality TV.